I've been handling something which I'm calling blackout, and I'm gonna, ref uh, what you call it, teach you guys how to overcome it in the astral formula, but it is when you astral project and you come back and you cannot remember a single thing. I remember the first time this happened, it was before I had my YouTube channel. I felt my astral body coming back to my physical body, literally just lay back down, all my senses of my physical body come back and I hear, now you know. What do I know? That was like, well, what did I miss? And I couldn't remember anything. I just remember hearing that voice and being placed back and it drove me nuts. And so this started to happen again, where I would come back to my body, I would realize, well, I would feel like I had an experience. I knew I was gone, but I couldn't remember anything. And what I noticed is when I came back, the second my awareness was settled here, boom, it would go onto a train of thought that just, uh, it just dragged me along and suddenly what I just experienced was so far behind me It was almost impossible to recall. So last night I was like, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I grabbed my stool I placed it and I sat down. I said nope foundation meditation Foundation meditation. And I should have been doing it. I should have been doing it as I was doing it before but I had been slacking but I'm taking myself more seriously. Don't worry. Don't worry um, Just got too cocky <laughs> And so I do it. I get very still and then I go lay down in my new bed, which is that, that thing, the rug. <laughs> and I disappear, and I'm gone. And this is what I want to talk about, because astral projection can be used to burn away your desires by experiencing them at a rate which would take forever when compared to here. So I'm going to speak about two of the four astral projections that I had last night. And the first one, man, the first one, made my little heart happy. There's this person which I haven't been able to speak to in a very long time. I feel like I haven't seen them in forever. And like, that's all I wanted. And it was eating up my awareness. Like, as in my awareness was only focused on that. While I was here, I couldn't work. I couldn't write. I couldn't do anything because that's where my focus was put on. It was driving me nuts. And when I was showering, getting ready to go to sleep, I had set the intention that I wanted to astral project and just feel peace. That's what I wanted to experience that night. And so I went out into this experience and I came to, as I was walking into my place of work, and granted this was a different plane, I was aware of that because I was wearing different clothes. Um, I also, something I've said in the past is I don't like to break out of what the story is in this plane. Right now, if someone, if I asked or projected and came here, I would realize I was focusing, what you call it, creating a video. I would realize like where my mind was going. I'd be aware of all these things. And I would try not to interfere with it. I would be more in the witness state and just kind of let everything else go on automatic. So that's what I did in this experience is as consciousness, I came in, witnessed that, oh, I'm about to enter work, yada, yada, yada. I didn't just like, oh, I'm here. And then just run away because that causes a lot of chaos. Okay, I'm glad we went on that super unnecessary tangent. Back to the story. <laughs> so I enter this place of work and I'm checking my phone in the astrals and I see, oh, hey, I'm gonna come pick you up afterwards. I was like, sick. And so after having this chaotic day at work, they eventually show up and we walk back to my place, which was here. And it was, it was just beautiful. We just talked the whole way. I didn't want to go travel with them. I didn't want to go grab food. I simply just wanted to socialize. And it was, it was so beautiful. It went on for so long too. It felt like two or three hours. And when I came back here, I, I, my heart was full. I felt like I just lived a whole day with this individual. And truly I had only been maybe like an hour from my previous astral projection. And all today, I've just felt so much more at ease, so much more at peace, and my awareness feels so much more free. So it's not so attached to this desire anymore. It has more, um, range as it can think about other things it can put its attention on other things and the astral projection before that one ah i'm getting a car um come april right now i just walk i used to have a bike but that got stolen and honestly i like walking it's very cheap it's free and it's exercise but i'm getting a car and it's going to give me more freedom it's going to help me eventually move out of my apartment in the coming future but with that, I've been thinking about vacations, where I can travel, where I can go. And this has been a desire of mine because I'm anticipating this manifestation. But again, as it, the social, um, the desire for social interaction with this individual was holding my awareness in a place and binding it, keeping it from experiencing other thoughts, this was going on with vacations as well. And so one thing that's really cool when you astral project onto different 
planes where you experience um, different versions of yourself is these different versions of you are going to have skills that you don't have here and so if you stay in that witness mode you don't um, interfere with what's going on but you purely are just there for the ride you can um, nitpick the mind and you can learn skills or at least enjoy the skills that that individual has and so I've done this with money I've done this with fire I've done this with rollerblading baby not gonna say I'm not gonna rollerblade today but I was damn good at rollerblading in this plane and I was I was in a city man I was just going I was just going around and there was someone who I messaged on Instagram they were a bit older so this might be in the future um, but it was cool. They, they were kind of my tour guide throughout this big city. We were exploring every nook and cranny. We were getting places we shouldn't be going. And it, it kind of got us in trouble. But I was there for like two to three days. And it was crazy because when I came back here, it had only been two hours from my first astral projection. And again, I was baffled by how much relief I felt emotionally, mentally, when it came to the desire of wanting to vacation, wanting to travel. I felt at ease. I could have stayed home today just on this, and I generally would have felt satisfied. I mean, of course, I would want to walk or do something like that, but I didn't feel that huge urge to leave the state, to go as far away as I could, because I had just had a very, very vivid experience of that. It's incredible what this skill has, and these are just little things just getting rid of desires um changing your relationships with others and yourself but the simple potential that i'm seeing with astral projection and just like being in the witness state which is practice in the foundation that is why the foundation is that base level which we're going to be building off on with the astral formula if all these terms don't make any sense to you I have a course, Permanent Peace. It's me documenting my journey to that permanent peace. And right now I have up to the foundation, which is a meditation practice that I use as the foundational layer for me to astral project um, because of the mental, emotional, and physical ease and well-being that I get along with the even-mindedness. And I will be really expanding upon that um, in the astral formula as even-mindedness and well-being are the foundation for this ability. Yeah, it's it's cool. Today I've just felt so flowy, so free, and my range of thought is so much larger than it was before because I'm not so bound by desire. Astral projection, man. It's an incredible tool. The things you can do with it are limitless. I'm gonna head out now, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Take care.